Somali people always had a passionate love for poetry. Somalia has also been called by, among others, the Canadian novelist and scholar Margaret Lawrence, a nation of poets. A Somali poet is expected to play a role in supporting his clan, to defend their rights in clan disputes, to defend their honor and prestige against the attacks of rival poets, to immortalize their fame and to act on the whole as a spokesman for them. In short, a traditional poem is an occasional verse composed to a specific end, with argumentative or persuasive elements, and having a historical context. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another classic SSN report. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe for more content. With a further ado let's jump straight into today's hot topic. Fast forward Somali poetry has traditionally been an important part of local culture in Greater Somalia. Historically, the verse form was employed during the independence movement. It continues to play an important role by conveying political, social, and educational messages and general awareness raising. Poems composed by Halima Godain, Raha Ayan Gould, and Hawa Jibril were powerful instruments in mobilizing constituencies against the colonial authorities. In this vein, Jibril explained why women joined the struggle against colonialism. So you may be wondering what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT stands for Chat Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It is essentially a chatbot launched by OpenAI in November 2022. It is built on top of OpenAI's GPT-3 family of large language models and is fine-tuned to transfer learning. ChatGPT can do just about any task upon request even creating a Burenbur on the spot in just 5 minutes in the Somali language or any language you desire. Both supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. So how is it doing this you may be wondering well, ChatGPT is using supervised learning as well as reinforcement learning. Both approaches used Somali trainers working at OpenAI to improve the model's performance. In the case of supervised learning, the model was provided with Berenberg samples in a conversation format in which the trainers played both sides, the user and the AI assistant. In the reinforcement step, Somali trainers first ranked different Berenberg that the model had created in a previous conversation. These rankings were used to create reward models that the model was further fine-tuned using several iterations of Burenberg and styles. This is only the beginning for OpenAI because it is continuing to gather data from Somali ChatGPT users that could be used to further train and fine-tune ChatGPT. Users are allowed to upvote or downvote the responses they receive from ChatGPT. Upon upvoting or downvoting, they can also fill out a text field with additional feedback. Well, that is all I have for you on this SNN report. We hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this and until next time. Assalamu alaikum.